Well, we're talking about motor rides today, and this is my 1983 Yamaha RX50 Special. This motor ride is 50cc, top speed 55, single cylinder, two stroke, single spark plug, 10,000 RPM monster. Ooh. This bike is uh, very special to me as it says on the casing here because this was my first motor ride. Uh, I really like this bike. It's uh, high revving, revs at 10,000 RPM. These bikes were uh, rare just because they were just uh, given to dealers, Yamaha dealers, and then they were just auctioned off. So there was never really a set price for these kind of bikes. This one is slightly modified. Uh, it's had some work done to it. These mirrors uh, are not stock. We put new mirrors on there. Uh, this bar was cafe'd. Uh, I have the original bars, but I like the cafe look. For a two stroke uh, motorcycle, it really is uh, pretty good. Sounds nice. I like the sound of a two stroke. A really good two stroke, you know with this uh, beautiful trumpet exhaust right here can make a very beautiful sound. It's easy to start. Really have no problems. I mean, you gotta really just check the oil. We got the battery on this side, the casing and the oil on this side. Uh, of course, you put two-stroke oil here and then you put, I think, regular 40 weight in the crankcase. case. front brake here, and then your rear brake, and then you got your clutch on the left side, and the gear shifting on your left foot, it's one down, four up, so it's five speed, which is pretty nice for a 50cc bike. Uh, it revs at 10,000 RPM, 10,000 RPM, tell me uh, a bigger bike that can do that. Uh, we have a uh, Top speed of 55 miles per hour, which is really uh, nothing. But on this bike, <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll feel it. Fuel tap on this side, gas tank. It's a beautiful shape for 50cc. A lot of Japanese bikes back in the day, especially in the 60s and 70s, they're kind of kind of flat. This uh, actually had a teardrop gas tank and it was modeled after the Yamaha motorcycles they were making them in the day. The gas tank only holds about three gallons maybe, maybe three, maybe two and a half. Of course you've got your oil, all your neutral light and high beam. It's nice that this thing has a neutral indicator. On this side we got your lights, got your high beam, your low beam, you know, so you can flash the, the ongoing uh, pedestrians. You got a kill switch here so you, you can shut the engine off, you know, when uh, your motorcycle is uh, not shifting correctly and you don't want to die. Funny little uh, gimmicks here, like a little ball here that tells you, you know, if your brake fluid is too low. A really cool feature about this bike is the brakes. A lot of 50cc bikes didn't really have good brakes because they didn't really go that quick. But this has a humongo disc brake in the front. Uh, I wish it had two on each side, but it's nice. It dissipates heat pretty fast. Well, not really, but it's not the best disc brake, but it works. Uh, in the rear, we got the drum brake there. Of course, you got these Yumungo taillights to go with your uh, big brakes. And as uh, this might look like metal, but like a uh, a lot of the Japanese bikes at the time, the motor rides, you know, they had plastic. You got a chain drive here. Uh, it's, chain hasn't failed me yet. This bike, you know, it's pretty dependable. It, you'll have it sitting around and then you just kick start it and kick it once and uh, usually starts. I won't say that the shocks on this bike are the greatest. Uh, you know, I think it has gas shocks and the front forks. Then we got a rear spring suspension, which holds basically the whole bike. Rear of the bike. Uh, the seat isn't spring loaded, it's just the whole body frame, whatever you want to call it. 
what I do like about this bike is that you can do some damage on it. You know, you don't have to be afraid to rev it hard or uh, hit anything. I've actually dropped this bike before, uh, you know, and put up some touch-up paint. This is really a bike you don't have to baby like uh, like modern bikes or any bike over 10 grand. This bike only costs about a grand, max. <laughs> I paid a little more, but that's a different story. Anyways, we're going to take this motorcycle out for a little spin and we'll see how she runs. Alright, so I changed my jacket. It's a little chilly out here. So first of all, you want to put on your safety gear. You know, you should really be wearing a full face or a half face helmet on an old bike because you're more prone to being in an accident than uh, the newer bikes. But just for fun, we're going to stick with this old school stuff. Alright, so the first thing you do is turn the ignition, the key on, make sure your fuel tap is on, your fuel line, hit the choke, and then do the kickstart and we'll see how she starts up. Ooh, throw a little gas in there. Warm up. It might take about a minute or two. You don't want to, you don't want, with a small engine like this, you don't want to push her up any uh, big hills. Uh, you might not make it. <laughs> Anyways, you just stick it into first and then you just roll away. a lot of uh, real good low-end torque. Uh, she revs up pretty nice. Let's see if we can get it to 10 RPM. Yeah, very nice. Very nice sound. Alright, well, thanks for watching our segment on the RX-50. Uh, this bike is very smooth, uh, very little vibration when you're riding, except when the road is uh, really bumpy. <laughs> and uh, it's a good bike. She runs okay. Okay. So hopefully we'll uh, come up with more cars and more motorcycles that we'll, we can do more reviews on. And uh, we might uh, pull one out on a, another little motor ride that we might do. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching. Next time.